Hi everyone, welcome back to the Whitney Water Center Learning From Home. My name is Lisa DeFrancesco, the Water Science Educator here at Regional Water Authority. Today we're going to do an experiment called Drops of Water on a Penny. This popular classroom experiment uses cohesion and surface tension. For today's experiment, you're going to need a sponge or a paper towel, a penny, a cup of water, and a dropper. The dropper is a really important part of the experiment. It's going to be tough to do if you're trying to improvise with a straw or something different. Before we begin, let's practice using the dropper. Put the dropper in the water, squeeze the black part on top, the air bubbles are going to come out, let go of the black part on top, and the water is going to get pulled in. Then you can take it out of the water. Once it's filled, practice squeezing one drop at a time into the cup. Having control over those drops will give you much better results for your experiment. If you squeeze it fast, all the water is going to come out, but that isn't going to help you with your experiment. Fill your dropper and take your best guess as to how many drops you think will fit on the top of that penny before it spills. When you're ready, slowly begin squeezing one drop at a time onto the top of the penny. You can watch the drops of water stick together. You don't see the individual drops. You just see the one large drop. That's the cohesion, the water sticking to water. You can also see that large bubble that's forming on top of the penny. That's the surface tension. And that surface tension is strong, but it's going to reach a point where it just can't hold any more water. If you need and you run out of water, fill your dropper and keep going. Once that surface tension can't hold any more water, it's going to break and it'll spill off the top of your penny, just like that. The cohesion of the water was strong enough that I was able to put 30 drops of water on the top of that penny before it spilled. If you'd like, you can repeat this experiment using a dime, a nickel, or a quarter and see how your results vary. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us. My name is Lisa DeFrancesco here at the Regional Water Authority, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.